Welcome to the AI Week, your countdown of the five most important AI stories worldwide. And this week, it's a roller coaster from fun experiments with music apps all the way to bold predictions about when AI will surpass human intelligence. Stick around, because our num uh, number one story might be the most dramatic forecast we've ever covered on this show. It's not about what AI might do in the distant future. It's about what AI leaders say is coming in just a few years. Kicking us off at number five, YouTube Music is experimenting with AI hosts. Virtual presenters that share background stories, trivia, and commentary while you're listening to your favorite tracks. Think of it like a DJ who never runs out of things to say, except it's powered by AI. Spotify already has an AI DJ, but YouTube wants to take it further, making it interactive, informative, and maybe even personalized. This could change how we experience music. Imagine listening to a song and instantly getting its history, fan theories, or cultural context. Cool, right? But critics warn about an AI slop problem, the risk that too much automated content feels shallow or repetitive. Still, for YouTube, it's a bold step into making AI the voice of culture, literally. And that takes us to number four, where AI isn't just hosting playlists, it's reshaping the very job market itself. At number four, the US just shook up global tech hiring. President Trump signed an executive order imposing a $100,000 fee on every new H-1B visa application. That's huge, because H-1Bs are how U.S. companies bring in top foreign talent, especially engineers from India. Now, instead of hiring abroad, companies are expected to double down on AI automation or offshore more work. And it's not just about visas. A major report this week mapped out which jobs AI is most likely to replace, transcription, scheduling, and other repetitive knowledge work, versus which are safe, like firefighters, doctors, therapists, and plumbers. So here's the tension. Governments want to protect domestic jobs, but by raising barriers to human workers, they might actually speed up AI adoption and eliminate jobs for everyone. It's the classic case of unintended consequences. Our number three story, feels like a wake-up call for the finance world. AI can now pass the hardest level of the Chartered Financial Analyst exam in minutes. Level three is brutal. It usually takes humans years of study and over a thousand hours of prep. But advanced models like Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude Opus sailed through it, including the essay portions that demand reasoning, strategy, and judgment. For Wall Street and global finance, this could be a turning point. If AI can master CFA-level thinking, what happens to high-paying analyst jobs? Some argue AI will just assist, crunching numbers and drafting reports, while humans focus on client trust and interpretation. But let's be honest. If AI can do the technical heavy lifting faster and cheaper, companies won't hesitate to cut staff. Finance may be the canary in the coal mine. If even CFA-certified skills are replicable by AI, no white-collar field is safe. Now, at number two, Google DeepMind unveiled its first thinking robots through the Gemini Robotics Project. This is a major leap. Instead of programming robots for one task at a time, these machines combine language and vision models to actually reason before acting. They can take a request like sort the laundry and figure out how to do it step by step across different robot bodies. That's massive. Because until now, robotics has been painfully slow. Months of coding for one function. Gemini Robotics promises flexible general purpose robots that could handle healthcare, manufacturing, even disaster response. But with power comes risk. Robots that think before they act are closer to autonomy than we've ever had. And that raises questions about safety, governance, and let's be real, jobs again. It's a glimpse into a future where AI isn't just in the cloud. It's moving through our world, lifting, carrying, building, maybe even caring. And that leads us perfectly to our number one story. Here it is, our top story this week. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, says he'd be very surprised if by 2030 we don't have AI models that surpass human intelligence. And here's the kicker. He's actually the conservative one. Anthropics Dario Amade predicts superintelligence by 2027. 
Elon Musk says as early as 2026. Think about that. We're not talking about your phone assistant getting smarter. We're talking about AI that can outperform humans in almost everything. Science, business, creativity, maybe even governance. Of course, Altman admits the bottleneck is infrastructure. Running these frontier models takes enormous data centers. So OpenAI is building a sprawling 800-acre site in Texas with Oracle and SoftBank. The stakes couldn't be higher. If they're right, then in less than five years, society may face the biggest transformation in human history. Superintelligence won't just be another app. It could redefine what it means to be human. So there you have it. YouTube's AI DJs, Trump's visa policy fueling automation, AI acing the CFA exam, Google's thinking robots, and Sam Altman betting big on superintelligence. And remember, everything you just heard, the research, the script, the analysis, was created by AI. You just listened to AI Analyzing AI. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, and share it with friends. And don't miss our AI Daily Deep Dive every Monday through Friday for the latest news, plus our Sunday specials for a deep dive into one big AI theme. This has been the AI Week. The future is accelerating, and we'll be here to guide you through it.